And the spirit of giving continues on. The Barstool Sports Arizona Bowl is partnering with the charity Miracle in El Barrio this Tuesday evening. The goal is to team up with Tucson's business Nova Home Loans, which is still a sponsor to collect new unwrapped toys. Of course, the 19th annual Miracle in El Barrio presented by Nova Home Loans will take part at St. John's Church on 12th Avenue in Ajo a week from this Monday. Today, Miracle and El Barrio has given toys to nearly 40,000 kids on the south side, and it's great to see Tucson's bowl game continue to support the cause. Many of these children otherwise may not receive any gifts for Christmas. Santa will give toys to every child, while Chick-fil-A will feed the kids. EGs will also supply food and drinks, while Peter Piper Pizza will give kids a pizza. Oh yeah, and of course, there will also be music and entertainment and face painting. Steve Nunez and former pro football player and Ampi grad John Volpe started the miracle in El Barrio a couple of decades ago to make sure no kids wake up on Christmas without a toy. We have much more on KVOA.com. Hey, and as in years past, the Miracle in El Barrio event on December 20th will also pass out some free tickets to the Arizona Bowl, as you saw John Volpe doing. Can't wait. That's it for now. I'm Paul Sikala. We'll be right back that it would be the biggest taco festival. Tonight at 10. A Tucson-based festival company, the center of a national outrage. The News for Tucson investigators look into why some of their customers feel cheated. They were completely unprepared. Investigating for you. Festival fallout. Tonight on News for Tucson at 10. At Metro by T-Mobile, we know you deserve more for the holidays. So we're giving you more with the big 5G upgrade. More choices with the largest selection of free 5G phones like the Samsung Galaxy 5G. And more savings on one line of unlimited smartphone data for just 25 bucks a month with 5G included at no extra cost. All with the power of the T-Mobile 5G network. So whether you're sharing and connecting or feasting with friends, get more for the holidays with your choice of a free 5G phone. Only at Metro. Prepare to be amazed. The Alfie Norville Gem and Mineral Museum has officially arrived at the historic Pima County Courthouse downtown. This collection of gems, minerals, and meteorites will dazzle you. This is truly a world-class collection dating back to the earliest mining activity in Southern Arizona. Come see this unforgettable collection, now in a beautiful historic home. The Alfie Norville Gem and Mineral Museum, 115 North Church Avenue, now open to the public. Two classic Arby's sandwiches for seven bucks. One, a French dip sandwich with a side of au jus. The other, au jus with a side of French dip sandwich. Don't overthink it. Arby's, we have the meat. I'm not saying that my Caesar Sportsbook app is the greatest thing that happened to the NBA. I mean, I'm not egotistical. Number 839, the peach basket. Number 322. The Euro step, half court shot for $1,000. Live in game betting. Number 12, the finger roll. Number five, breakaway sweatsuits. Number four, my Caesar Sportsbook app. Soon to be number one. My Caesar Sportsbook app, the fourth best thing to happen to the NBA. At my old school, I was bullied, but thanks to CTSO, now I'm at a new school where everybody treats each other like equals. When we came here from South Sudan, CTSO gave me a great opportunity to attend South Point Catholic to grow both my mind and my body. I now have many great scholarship offers to many great universities, including Stanford. For kids like me, your gift to CTSO gives us the type of education that can change our lives without it costing you anything at all. Please, give to CTSO. At Palo Verde Behavioral Health, we treat depression, addiction, and other mental health issues for both adolescents and adults. Our outpatient services allow you to receive quality treatment while maintaining your life responsibilities. As a true community partner, our trained staff provides understanding, compassion, and specialty care when you need it most. Better days are ahead. We'll help you get there. Palo Verde Behavioral Health, restoring lives and renewing hope. Find out how we can help today. A busy weekend here in Southern Arizona as two holiday favorites return. What you need to know if you're taking in the lights in Winter Haven or heading to the 4th Avenue Winter Street Fair today. 
Welcome back. One of Tucson's most beloved events is back on this year. Starting tomorrow morning, 4th Avenue will be buzzing with customers for the Winter Street Fair. The Tucson tradition brings over hundreds of thousands to the heart of the city. You'll find artists and business owners from around the world showcasing their work. Organizers are working to create a safe environment for everyone going. You are encouraged to wear a mask and sanitize at the stations they'll have throughout the fair. It runs through Sunday from 10 a.m. to dusk every day. The Salvation Army is feeding more than a thousand people on Christmas and they hope you can help them do that. Right now they really need turkeys for the annual Christmas community meal. If you would like to help, you can drop off donations at the Hospitality House near Main and Speedway. They're collecting donations now through December 24th from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. every day. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Investigating for you. This is News for Tucson. First, it was Karen. Now, it's Alexa. They're all named Alexa. It started getting a little annoying. I go by Lex. Next, Inside Edition. Inside Edition, tonight at 6.30. Give holiday wellness at Relax the Back. Save up to $1,000 on our zero-gravity recliners and massage chairs. Treat someone to relaxation, or you can even treat yourself. Be good to yourself. Start living your best life at Relax the Back. The unknown is not empty. It's a storm that crashes and consumes, replacing thought with worry. But one thing can calm uncertainty, an answer. Uncovered through exploration, teamwork, and innovation. An answer that leads to even more answers. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. I can't believe Lazy Boy has interior designers and you work your magic for free. It's what we do. <gasps> Perfect. Lazy Boy, live life comfortably. KVOA is proud to present programs specifically designed to serve the needs of children 16 and under. Information concerning children's programming is contained in our quarterly programming reports, available on the FCC website. For more info, please contact KVOA. No $20 state tax and no city sales tax. That's why people come from all over the galaxy to save up to 40% at Tobacco Barn. Earthlings get a coupon up to $3 off. Go to TobaccoBarnTucson.com. Give holiday wellness at Relax the Back. Save up to $1,000 on our zero gravity recliners and massage chairs. Treat someone to relaxation or you can even treat yourself. Be good to yourself. Start living your best life at Relax the Back. Tonight's lineup on NBC is brought to you by Desert Diamond Casinos. Join us Tuesdays from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. for Senior Day Swipe and Win. Liv, I wanted to let you know who I am defending. As long as it's not Richard Waitley, we're good. Well, isn't this awkward? Why are you defending the man who killed my wife? I'm being framed for a crime I didn't commit. This isn't a trial, it's a personal vendetta. He tried to kill me. Wheatley's not going down easy. If you have something that you want to confess to me, I'll see you in court. The Law & Order crossover event, tonight on NBC. Life is better inspired. And in Rancho Cerita, we've created an inspiring place to call home, where kids go to good schools and families spend time together, enjoying 17 miles of trails, 12 different parks, multiple pools, including a splash park and splash pad, a gym, and more. Create your better life today with a new home in Rancho Cerita from the 200s. Learn more at RanchoCerita.com. News for Tucson hairstyling is provided by Gadabout Salon Spas. Our 13th annual season for a Hope holiday campaign is moving right along. Every year we team up with sponsors and partners like the Community Food Bank of Southern Arizona, Toys for Tots, and the Diaper Bank of Southern Arizona to help out families in need. If you would like to help, we are looking for food donations, toys, and diapers. You can drop them off next Monday at Tucson Fire Station number 20. Matt? Amanda likes to say that I roll into this thing, tis the season, which it is. Not yeah. only for that, but it's going to start feeling like the season, Amanda. 90% chance of valley rain late tonight over midnight 
and especially into early tomorrow morning, and that will portend some uh, snowfall on the mountaintops as well. Get ready, everybody. All right, thank you, Matt. Thank you for joining us. Inside Edition is next. Notorious murder of two teens. After nearly five years, is this the big break at last? Was this fake social media account with a hunky model used to lure young girls? Then, he's free already? Wow. Outrage over the suspect accused of torching the Christmas tree, released after just a few hours. So how could it be that the suspect was freed so quickly? Plus... <laughs> Are drivers becoming more reckless than ever before? The pandemic has left us isolated, lonely, and depressed, and it's affecting how we drive. Then, convicted wife killer Scott Peterson, after his resentencing, to say she thinks he's guilty. And the new phenomenon. Quick talk. This is me one hour before I quit my corporate job. Plus, first it was Karen, now it's Alexa. They're all named Alexa, just like the Amazon device. It started getting a little annoying. She's even changed her name. I go by Lex. Now, Inside Edition with Deborah Norville. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us. For nearly five years, police in Delphi, Indiana, have been trying to solve the murders of two little girls killed near a railroad trestle. Well, now there may be a break in the case. Authorities are asking if anyone knows about a particular social media account featuring photos of a male model. Is there a connection to the murder investigation? Stephen Fabian has the latest. Could this be the break we've been waiting for in the four-year-old slayings of Abby Williams and Libby German? Cops say photos of this hunky male model were used on social media to lure underage girls to a suspected pedophile. The model is completely innocent. In fact, he's a cop. He had no idea his image was being used to catfish the girls. This is the man who police say created the phony account. His name is Keegan Anthony Klein, and he is now in jail awaiting trial for alleged possession of child porn. He's pleaded not guilty. Now the state police in Indiana want to talk to anyone who contacted the social media account, which was posted on Instagram and Snapchat under the name Anthony Schatz. The fictitious Anthony Schatz profile portrayed himself as being extremely wealthy and owning numerous sports cars. The police officer whose photos were used without his permission lives in Alaska and says he is completely blown away. I am very heartbroken to hear what happened to those two girls, as I have two daughters myself. I'm in contact with the Indiana State Police and am helping in any way possible. Abby and Libby were found slain near this railroad trestle in Delphi, Indiana in 2017. Libby took this image of the suspect on her cell phone and also recorded his voice. The website Crime Door created a computer animation of how the murders may have taken place. I spoke to Libby's grandfather, Mike Patty, about the possible new lead. Is it hard for you and your family to not get your hopes up when these new leads come about? To a degree, but actually we've seasoned ourselves. I mean, it sounds bad, but you know, I mean, and I've seen this enough times that I'm really waiting on the call from law enforcement or the investigating team and say, okay, Mike, we made an arrest. 27-year-old Klein, a security guard, has not been named a suspect or person of interest in the Delphi murders. His lawyer says Mr. Klein has not even been charged with a crime relating to the recent reports. I would just like to caution people to refrain from jumping to conclusions. <laughs> In other news, Josh Duggar was convicted today on child pornography charges. It took a jury in Arkansas just seven hours to find the former 19 Kids and Counting star guilty of receiving and possessing child pornography. Duggar, who's smiling in his new mugshot, faces as much as 40 years in prison when he's sentenced. And yesterday, we told you that Scott Peterson was resentenced to life without parole for the murders of his wife, Lacey, and their unborn son. Now, his sister is speaking out, saying she couldn't be more pleased. Here's Jim Murray. The sister of convicted wife killer Scott Peterson has a message for him. I wish he would take just a fraction of pain away and just be honest and, you know, say, 
you know, you did it. Ann Bird also claims Peterson acted like a roving bachelor, not a grieving husband, after his wife Lacey went missing. A man not looking for caring about his missing pregnant wife but a man who was more interested in our attractive babysitter. She says he even made an inappropriate cocktail for the babysitter. Went to the store and got cocktail mix to make something called sex teenies and he was serving them to our babysitter. Lacey went missing on Christmas Eve in 2002 while Peterson was having an affair with massage therapist Amber Fry, who says she didn't know Peterson was married. Ann Bird and Amber Fry came together for this interview on Inside Edition in 2005 and spoke about their unusual bond. It's really tough to get through something like this and um, it's so nice to talk to somebody that has been through the same thing. She definitely, you know, is very brave and, and has made a lot of sacrifices in coming out. Both women are represented by attorney Gloria Allred. Today, Allred said if Peterson gets a new trial, Amber is willing to testify against him. Amber is a true hero, and she took many risks for justice in this case. In February, a hearing will be held to determine if there was juror misconduct in the criminal case. If you've thought people have been driving kind of crazy these days, you are not mistaken. Experts are putting the blame squarely on the pandemic. It's a troubling side effect of the pandemic. Crazy, dangerous driving. Fatalities from car wrecks are skyrocketing, up 7% in 2020 and 18% in just the first six months of this year, the highest in 14 years. It's an alarming trend. At the start of the pandemic, during the lockdown, there was an epidemic of speeding on empty wide open highways free from rush hour traffic. Now the roads are packed again, but we're still seeing more reckless driving than ever before. So what's going on? Experts say the bad behavior is a direct reflection of the mental state of the nation. The pandemic has left us isolated, lonely and depressed, and it's affecting how we drive. The phenomenon even has a name. It's called arousal breakout. And some people may have kind of as a coping mechanism turn to kind of letting out some of their frustration on the road or using substances or a combination of the two. Drunk driving fatalities are up nearly 10% since the start of the pandemic. This drunk driver in Detroit caused a crash that sent four people to the hospital. And in New York, the woman driving this car was drunk when she plowed across a front yard and smashed into a house. People are not wearing their seatbelt. They're driving impaired, and they're also speeding. We lose over 100 people on average each and every day in this country as a result of car crashes. Oh my God. Another 4.2 million people quit their jobs in October as the number of people who are voluntarily leaving work continues at near record levels. And increasingly, they're celebrating their resignations on social media. This is me one hour before I quit my corporate job. A young woman is about to say bye-bye to her job by way of a new social media phenomenon called Quit Talk. She plays the message she left for her boss. I just wanted to call you and let you know that I've made the decision that it's time for me to move on. Done. This is me 15 minutes after quitting my corporate job. Marissa Mays told Inside Edition today why she's leaving her job. It only took me, I mean, eight or nine months in that role to realize that, okay, this actually isn't going to make me happy. Kylie Hutchings is another so-called quit talker. She posted herself preparing her resignation letter. I was just basically overworked and stressed. Tiffany Knighton, who works as a brand strategist, posted... I did it. I came to the conclusion that it was time for me to create something that's my own. And did Gabby Ionello, who works in real estate, show a bit of anxiety after quitting? I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm going to be okay. <laughs> you know, I want to live my life. I don't want to live for working. I want to live for, like, spending time with family. In October, 4.2 million Americans quit their jobs. The figure totals a mind-boggling 39 million people so far this year. Through the pandemic, people have realized that having an environment that makes them happy and fulfilled in their life is really important. I am here. It is my last day at my job, and I could 
couldn't be happier. One young quit talker shows herself turning out the lights on her last day. So are they concerned that these quit talks will come back to haunt them? I tried to quit as gracefully as I could. I didn't want to, you know, badmouth anybody or say anything negative about the company I worked for. <laughs> That homeless man arrested and charged with setting the Fox News Christmas tree on fire is no longer behind bars. He was released just hours after his arrest. And as Anne Mercagliano reports, that's got plenty of people upset. There are shocking developments in the Fox News Christmas tree arson case. The suspect was released on no bail last night, just hours after he allegedly set the Christmas tree ablaze. Dailymail.com cameras were there. It is a big story. It is the cover of the New York Post. Treason. Grinch sets fire to Fox's Yule display, and he is freed without bail despite a long rap sheet. 49-year-old Craig Tamanaha ranted incoherently as he was freed. He is homeless, and his own father was quoted as saying, he's a nut. He even had the nerve to ask photographers for a cigarette. You got a cigarette? I don't smoke. Anybody got a cigarette? Then off he went into the night. So how can it be that the suspect was freed so quickly? Well, it turns out that setting a fire that does not lead to injuries is considered a misdemeanor under the state's new controversial bail reform law. There is no bail for people charged with misdemeanors, so he walked, even though he allegedly caused a reported half a million dollars in damages. New York mayor-elect Eric Adams expressed outrage. Here's a person that stated they're going to continue to wreak havoc on our city. 12 major U.S. cities are seeing record murder rates. Philadelphia has recorded 523 homicides so far this year, the highest number since 1990. San Francisco's surge in crime is the focus of national attention. And here are the latest victims. Sisters Catherine and Kimberly were with Catherine's kids sitting in their car when a gang of smash and grab robbers broke the rear windows and took a laptop. That book bag was hanging over the, the headrest behind my four-year-old and they took it and she that's when she seen it. She was like, yeah, that ninja just took that book bag. Now get this, the thieves didn't know there was a tracking device on the laptop. The sisters were able to track every move the bad guys were making, but the family says cops haven't done anything, at least not yet. She's still locating it. It's still moving. Yeah. You know, so how, how is that, that we can locate it, but no one can do anything about it? Back in New York, Fox News put up another Christmas tree, hoping this one won't go up in flames. Two, one, light up! And in our nation's capital today, former Senate Majority Leader Bob Dole was laid in state at the U.S. Capitol. His widow Elizabeth was helped to the casket, where she emotionally said her final goodbyes to her husband. The Navy hero and former presidential candidate died Sunday of lung cancer. He served our country for 79 years. We'll be back with more Inside Edition right after this. Next. First it was Karen, now it's Alexa. They're all named Alexa, just like the Amazon device. Started getting a little annoying. She's even changed her name. I go by legs. Plus, Monday happy days. Fonzie for sale. The leather jacket, even Fonzie's motorcycle. Is it gonna be tough to part with some of that stuff? Inside Edition with Deborah Norville will be right back. From unexpected finds <laughs> to classic favorites, find the gifts they've been dreaming of with Macy's Holiday Gift Finder. At Domino's, we're giving away $50 million in surprise frees instead of surprise fees like other delivery apps. When you order delivery online, you could be surprised with free lava cakes, free stuffed cheesy bread, free pizza, or more. Oh my goodness! Like pulsing electric shocks, sharp stabbing pains, or an intense burning sensation. What is this nightmare? It's how some people describe shingles, a painful blistering rash that can interrupt your life for weeks. Forget social events and weekend getaways. If you've had chickenpox, the virus that causes shingles is already inside of you. If you're 50 years or older, ask your doctor or pharmacist about shingles. 
saying that my season sports book app is the greatest thing that happened to the NBA. I mean, I'm not egotistical. Number 839, the Peach Basket. Number 322, the Eurostep. Half court shot for $1,000. Live in-game betting. Number 12, the Finger Roll. Number five, breakaway sweatsuits. Number four, my season sports book app. Soon to be number one. My season sports book app, the fourth best thing to happen to the NBA. Wherever your journey takes you this winter, get away with our best deals of the season. Right now, get huge savings on the entire lineup of award-winning Hyundai vehicles at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. With new cars arriving just in time for the holidays, it's the perfect time to get a Hyundai. Get 0% APR on the Sonata or Elantra and make zero payments until 2022. Visit buyhyundai.com today. 130,000 people in this country are named Alexa, and some of them are not exactly thrilled with Amazon's virtual assistant. These women all have something in common. Hi, I'm Alexa. My name is Alexa. Alexa. Hi, I'm Alexa. Now these Alexas are coming together to express their frustration over their name being adopted by Amazon. Alexa, turn the temperature down two degrees. For years, Alexa devices have been the butt of Alexa. jokes on Amazon's own commercials. Alexa, turn on the sprinklers. Honey, I already ran the sprinklers. I was immediately upset when I saw that a machine had been given my name. I definitely feel like I receive a lot of the jokes or like the innuendos. And I was getting comments or um, people expressing pity and disappointment when they learned my name, like it was a flaw. It's gotten so bad, some Alexas have changed their names. I started going by. Juliana outside of work and family. When I introduce myself to new people or I'm in a new setting, I go by Lex and I refuse to use Alexa. In 2015, more than 6,000 babies were given the name. By 2020, the name's popularity had plummeted 78%. Only 1,300 babies were named Alexa. I just feel like Amazon has so many employees, so many people to make these decisions and I can't believe no one stopped to consider the impact it would have on human Alexas. To all the Alexas out there, there is something you can do in your own home at least. It's simple, just change the name of the command on your Amazon device from Alexa. Alexa, change your name to Echo. Okay, you can call me Echo on this device in a few seconds. Echo, what's the weather like? The current weather is 45 degrees Fahrenheit. It's simple, just skies. like that. But I these Alexas want Amazon to do something um, as well. I think it would make the most sense to just change the name. Amazon picked the name Alexa in homage to Egypt's Library of Alexandria, which in ancient times was known as the center of knowledge. When we come back, Fonzie's iconic leather jacket from Happy Days could be yours. I'm still wowed by what's next, even with higher stroke risk due to AFib, not caused by a heart valve problem. So if there's a better treatment than warfarin, I want that. Eliquis. Eliquis reduces stroke risk better than warfarin and has less major bleeding than warfarin. Eliquis has both. Don't stop taking Eliquis without talking to your doctor as this may increase your risk of stroke. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve or abnormal bleeding. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. Get help right away for unexpected bleeding or unusual bruising. It may increase your bleeding risk if you take certain medicines. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. The number one cardiologist prescribed blood thinner. Ask your doctor about Eliquis. Do I need to pre-treat my laundry? Nope. With Tide Pods, you don't need to worry. The pre-treaters are built in. Tide Pods dissolve even when the water is freezing. Nice. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide. I lost 40 pounds in 26 weeks with SlimFast, and I've kept it off for five years. And you can too. SlimFast has a super easy plan, delicious products, Do this to 44123 to get. A busy weekend here in Southern Arizona as two holiday favorites return. What you need to know if you're taking in the lights in Winter Haven or heading to the 4th Avenue Winter Street Fair. 
plus. Friday morning is going to be busy. We have some valley rain and high elevation snow as well. Potentially our first big snow of the season. Three to six inches possible. We'll have all the details right here tomorrow on Tucson Today. See you then. Winter winnings. You could win $2,000 cash Fridays. Праздники, конечно, без сына, это грустно немножко, но... The last time I saw my mom was five years ago. Tombstone, way more than a movie, it's a real step back in time to the Old West. It's Fonzie for sale. Monday, happy days. Now you too can look like the Fonz. Happy Days star Henry Winkler auctioned off one of Fonzie's iconic looks, including his signature brown leather jacket. It just sold for $75,000. Is it going to be tough to part with some of that stuff? You know, I thought about that. And no. Uh, well, one thing is that uh, I got really angry at the jacket, at the Fonz's jacket, because what I realized was it doesn't fit. And our Megan Alexander is spreading holiday cheer in a new show. Now we are traveling to four small towns across the country and celebrating all the unique ways that people deck the halls. She's the executive producer and host of Small Town Christmas, airing Sunday nights at 9 p.m. on UP TV. Happy holidays, everybody. And Megan's also got some holiday deals. Megan? Thank you, Deborah. We've teamed up with MorningSave.com and their lifestyle expert, Valerie Greenberg. She is next to me, ready to share some amazing inside deals at deep discounts. We've got some holiday shopping ideas for you. First up, we have the Nurk Siovo 3-in-1, 6.5-quart, six 6-speed six stand mixer, juicer, and blender. Megan, this gadget combines the three appliances in one and can really do it all. From mixing dough to squeezing orange juice, it comes with a dough hook, beater, whisk, and a 6.5-quart stainless steel bowl. And because it's three appliances in one, you're going to save tons of counter space. That's what I call multitasking. What's the deal? For sure. So we've seen this sell for as much as $183, but our price is just $89. Megan, that's 51% off. Next, we have the caloric smokeless electric indoor grill. Yeah, so the outdoor summer grill season may be over, but now you can grill indoors without any smoke or mess. Now the grill plate is dishwasher safe, and with limited quantity, this will go fast. What's the deal? So we've seen this sell for as much as $100, but our price is just $39. That's 61% off. And five Finally, we have the Caldo X insulated puffer jacket with heating panels in black or navy. Yes, yeah, so this jacket practically flew off our shelves last season. These lightweight jackets with detachable hoods feature heat panels in the back, collar, and two front pockets. And the company says that the heating lasts up to eight hours. Now, the power bank is not included. What a great idea. What's the deal? So we've seen this sell for as much as $260. Our price is just $59. That's 77% off. You did it again, Val. Great deals. Everybody head to MorningSave.com for all the information. Deborah, I'll send it back to you. And when we come back, a wake up hug. With DraftKings Sportsbook's latest offer, new customers can bet just $1 on any NFL game and win 100 if any point is scored. A chip shot field goal, you win. A TD pass, you win. Bet $1 to win 100 if any point is scored and make it rain with an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Thanks, Road Warrior. So long, happy little blue car. No matter what you call your car. Goodbye, Speed Demon. Or why you're letting it go. AutoNation will buy it, and you don't have to buy one from us. We're paying top dollar right now. So go to AutoNation.com or come see us for a super easy appraisal. Get paid on the spot, and you can deposit it the same day. Visit any AutoNation store or AutoNation.com. What drives you drives us. Few things are more satisfying than watching an epic Arby's French dip soak up a cup of warm, flavorful au jus. The perfect ratio of sauce and sandwich. And what's that? You ran out of sandwich? Arby's knew this would happen. Which is a great time to bring up this backup sandwich. 
two French dips for seven bucks. Arby's, we have the meat. Home for the holidays, next. Travel consideration provided by it's Macy's one day sale now with deals of the day, like 50% off makeup and fragrances, 40 to 70% off fine jewelry, and 50 to 60% off suits and blazers. Plus everyone gets $10 Macy's money for every $50 spent. Find your rhythm, your happy place. Find your breaking point, then break it. Every emergency gives you a potent blend of nutrients so you can emerge your best with emergency. Stay tuned, there's more Inside Edition to come. Tis the season for more at Metro by T-Mobile. Now, new and existing customers can get a free Samsung Galaxy tablet and enjoy high-speed data for just 15 bucks a month. That's the lowest price on Unlimited for tablets, all with the power of the T-Mobile network. Metro is giving you and your family more chances to stream, more ways to connect, and more reasons to celebrate with a free Samsung Galaxy tablet. Get more for the holidays, only at Metro. <laughs> Surprise! It's a new Buick. Mm -hmm. You got me a new Buick? Oh, and there are more guests inside. You got me the head-up display. You did steering wheel. It's a massaging seat. Okay, okay, what next? Alexa, turn on holiday lights. This